That's the story. An incident that's resurfacing after 26 years. A boater found a wrecked plane at the bottom of Big Creek Lake, leaving a lot of questions to be answered. Authorities now confirm it was Richard Flint's plane, and it went down in 1982. You know, we, we have our own archives as well as the FAA, and like I said, we have been able to cross-reference uh, some tail, the tail number on the plane, and um, with a little bit of investigative tools, we've been able to put together some dates and some times and uh, the model of the plane. And the Federal Aviation Administration tells Fox 10 News the plane which took off from New Orleans ran out of fuel and crashed. A body was recovered, but the FAA couldn't say whether it was Flint. This discovery has boaters interested. Andy Ellsworth heard about it and took us out on his boat to try and find it by using his sonar. I fished just like my whole life, fished this area. I've never seen it. We had an idea of where the plane was located and about how deep it was, but we still didn't find anything. Many boaters say it's like finding a needle in a haystack. Yeah, we could be out here all day and uh, we might find it. Authorities say they are still figuring out when or if the plane will be removed from the water. They want to keep it intact without getting any hazardous materials in the water. Really the best way to do that is put some airbags underneath the plane and float it to the surface. That's the best way to preserve the integrity of the plane. Bringing it up might finally close the book on a 26-year-old mystery. At Big Creek Lake, Christina Leavenworth, Fox 10 News.